it all through this. everyone welcome to my channel i hope you all are doing great in this video i'm gonna share with you how i prepare my grocery list where i shop how i shop as well as the grocery budget in the coming video i will also share how i do meal planning as well as the things that i keep it in the refrigerator so it's easy to prepare dinner and lunch but first of all let's talk about the grocery list so to make grocery shopping list, it's very easy for me because before going for shopping, I sit down with my family. I ask them if there is any special thing that they want me to buy. And also I go through my pantry and write it down all the things that I need to replace. Also, whenever I come across any special recipe that I want to prepare in case if I don't have that ingredients, I also write it down. So my grocery shopping list is basically always ready and vegetable like potato onion ginger garlic cabbage cauliflower that i don't need to write it on piece of paper it is always on in my head because whenever i go i always buy that because out of that i can prepare so many different recipes and our indian store is so far away from where we live so i always have to make sure that my list is ready so we'll go to two different grocery store the first one is the asian market that's where i get all my vegetable shopping done and the second one is the indian grocery store that's where i get all my indian grocery indian store do carry some vegetables but compared to asian market they don't have that much wide varieties as well as if i compare both store price wise then of course asian market is much cheaper than the indian store and between both of the store i do have the budget of less than 300 dollar now keep in mind that we are family of four i do have two teenager boys and i do prepare lunch and dinner almost seven days a week so of course we need food and uh, milk bread fruits and all that i buy it from the local grocery store uh, Asian market do carry fruits somehow I don't like to buy it from there so I buy it from my local grocery uh, store um, but let's see if I can stick to that budget because you know how it is once we go there we like something even though it's not in our list we want to buy it so hopefully keeping my finger crossed that I do stick to my budget so before I get too late let's go my first stop is the asian market so let's get the vegetable shopping done. As you can see here they have tons and tons of varieties of all different kind of vegetables as well as the fruit some of the vegetables names which i have never heard of it but you can find it here so typical fruit like berries i don't prefer to buy it from here but any other fruit uh, like mango or papaya those are the things i buy it from here and some of the fruit which you can find it here will not you will find it at the typical grocery store You have all this choice for the banana the first one as you can see it's a green banana this one is the yellow painting this one is the green painting yellow one you can just put it in the microwave for about a minute or so and eat it that tastes so good also they do have this baby banana in a green as well as the yellow one it also comes in the brown they don't have it today but that also tastes really good also they do have the Thai banana here these are Taiwan green mango just look how big it is 
and it is six dollar for one pound it is huge done with the asian market as you can see trunk is getting filled with the things now let's go to indian store the one thing definitely guys i would say here that before you go for grocery shopping make sure you eat something because i'm in the parking lot right now behind me there is a indian store right there and it smells so good because they do carry samosa cut mirch and all the different kind of pagodas this morning all i had is my chai and of course i brought my water with me but yes the water is almost gone and this is actually flavored water that's why you see the color is different but that smell is making me so hungry so let's go inside this is the new grocery store that i come to as you can see the store is huge we'll go the other side also but at this point, no one is here and that's what I like because in weekend, this store is packed with full of people and when there's too many people, sometimes it takes forever to finish your grocery shopping. But right now, no one is here, so of course, I'll be done quickly. Here they sell mint leaves as well as the curry leaves and the pan like this in the bag which is so convenient so one thing i do want to mention here that these are the mango leaves and i heard that mango leaves are really good for the diabetes so you can soak it at night time in the water uh, you can take about two three and soak it at night in water and drink that water in the morning and um, that's really good for the diabetes so this is what i heard so i just want to pass it along here so as you can see they do have many different varieties of vegetables but of course it's not as compared to the asian market and let's say worse come to worse if i forgot something to get it from the other store i can always get it from here this side they do have all this kind of different uh, sweets guys let me know which one is the good paneer the regular paneer or the malai paneer i heard malai paneer is really good but my experience is that it crumbles uh, very easily just because it's a malai it's a very soft so let me know which one is the better one I always get question asked which atta do I use then most of the time I use the ashirwad if not sujata is also good this is my weakness this deep Ahmedabad bhakri pizza if you are from Ahmedabad I'm sure you guys must know about the jasubin pizza this is just like that and every time I come here I get at least two box today i'm just gonna get one because i already have one box at home but definitely i would highly recommend that do try this pizza here they do have samosas and this jalapeno cheese samosa it is so good but unfortunately they don't have the cut mirch there is a chai available here to go with the pakoda So I'm back from grocery shopping as you can see behind me the entire kitchen is filled with the grocery so let me show you what I got so let's start with the vegetables which I got it from Asian market so first of all I have a carrot here I do make the fresh juice baby potato to make stuff alu sabji baby gava plantain baby mango papaya 
Perry's there. I do have a two cilantro in here. Sweet potato as well as the beet. And these are the chili that they are not spicy at all. So whenever I want to add the chili but doesn't want any spiciness from it, that's where I use this chilies. Also garlic, cabbage, turnip. If you never had a turnip, I would highly recommend that you try it. It tastes just like radish, but it has many health benefits. Also tindora. Uh, tindora actually I got it from Indian store. And these are the Thai green chilies. So whenever I want the spiciness, that's where I use this green chilies. I do have the bindi here. And of course, my day never start without the ginger. So I have finally found really good ginger. So that's what I have here. And uh, here I have celery. Again, I make the fresh juice out of it. I do have the green onions as well as the laki back here. And here, as you can see, I do have three different kind of eggplant. The reason is this one, this eggplant, I use it to make parva bangan. Um, so parva bangan with the alu taste really good. Here I have this long bangan, and uh, this one I use it uh, just to make regular bangan and alu sabji, or I make it with the tuber dana also. And this one I got it for bangan bharta. I do have the lime as well as the cauliflower, tomato is here, and the aloe vera. Again, aloe vera, I make the fresh juice out of it. And here I got uh, onion, so it is 10 pound bags as well as the five pound uh, potatoes. And of course, I cannot forget mango. It's not in season right now, but it looks nice as well as it smells nice too. So I thought, let me just buy one box and see how it is. Okay, so these are the things I got it from Indian stores. So first of all, I have here is the Bakri Pizza. Again, I would highly recommend that at least you try once because it is like a typical Indian style pizza. Here I have Bajri flour as well as the rice flour. Badam drink for my husband, that's what he likes. Here I have the mango, tasted mango pulp. So whenever I wanna make the mango lassi, mango shake, I use this. And here I have two bags of Kuber Liva for the sabji, two box of uh, Pani Puri. Idli don'ts are better, I usually make it at home, but whenever I don't have a time to prepare rice and dal and all that, I just always have this on hand. Also, curry to go with the chai. And when I saw this, I was like, let me try it and see how it is. It is a Wadi Lal Rajbok Shikhan. And all the things that so far I have bought it from the brand are not being disappointed. So I thought, let me try this dahi and see how it is. I usually, again, make my dahi at home, but I saw it. I was like, let me try it and see how that is. So I'll keep you guys posted about that. Also, this kicha popper, it is made from rice flour. You can either roast it or deep fry it. We usually roast it. It tastes really good. So I do have the two box of that. And here I have a chiku. So again, my husband likes to have a chiku shake. And in the past, I have bought can, but can chiku doesn't taste good at all. So I buy the frozen one. Again, one more bag of mango pulp. I do have the vegetable spring roll here as well as the two bags of this small samosa. My Both of my boys are actually crazy about this samosa. Here I have a paneer paratha. So one bag of that as well as the chili coriander naan. And here I have a two bag of onion kulcha. The reason I have all this because I have actually guests coming, so that's why you see all this frozen. Uh, but we really like this paneer paratha, especially when you don't have a time for breakfast or um, lunch, you can just prepare this. Here I have some cookies, a random cookie here, also this bonbon cookie. Here I have roasted chana. Uh, these are the things I just saw it and it looks interesting. So I bought some snacks here. Uh, the tuli here as well as the banana chips. And I found 
Malai here, so I bought one of that. Here I have Sesame Cheeky. And this popper are so good. Um, this Ganesh brand one. So I bought one of that. I got mint leaves. So I also got this uh, Lakshmi Low GI Basmati rice as well as the Ashirwad. So Ashirwad, this Atta is uh, 20 pounds. And uh, this Basmati rice, we've been using it for a few years now. As you see, it's a lower GI value. So the people who has a diabetes, it's really good for them. Uh, no one has a diabetes in my family, knock on the wood. Um, but uh, it's better to prevent. So we always buy this basmati rice. Um, if you've been using the regular basmati rice, I'm sure you can tell the difference. But taste-wise, it is the same thing. And now we like it, so I don't use the other basmati rice i always keep it on hand the regular basmati so in case someone is coming i do make that but for us i always make this one as well as the ashirwad atta so this much vegetable will last me little over two weeks and indian grocery list change every single month because not that every month i need all different dal all atas because some dal you use more than other so that list change every single month but now the million dollar question is did i stay under my budget or not so here i had both of the receipt they are huge so let's see so the first one is from asian market and that total is 69.88 and the indian store one is 132.33 so it's $202 and some change so definitely I stay under my budget so this is it friends I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of video and if you haven't subscribed my channel so far please do so take care and I will see you soon in my next video bye